So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm at the Experience in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are with Harvard Chemical today, and uh, this is at the booth and some of the things. So we have something special going on, though. This is Hassan Shruti, and uh, he is the chemist, and he's the one that's instrumental in essentially getting Harvard research going. What was it, 18, 19 years ago? 18, 19 years ago uh, that I moved to Atlanta, Georgia to take over Harvard Chemicals. Okay. Um, I would say Harvard Chemical was the first stain remover uh, product that they came out on a heat transfer for Kool-Aid. For Kool-Aid. So uh, there's a long history about Harvard Chemicals in yep. carpet business that goes about even before my time. And uh, I'm going to just show my brother is over here and Roger Lloyd's on listening. But um, 15 years ago, it was that our family searched you out because of one of your products, your Dissolve-All, the Limamine product. Right. Because our distributor didn't carry it anymore. And then from there, we became users and small distributors up in northern Minnesota. And we became a, formed a relationship with you. Correct. So now, we're, you know, your chemistry line really helped us and our family. And it was just kind of a hidden gem we didn't talk about. Sure. YouTube, Facebook, Internet starts making things happen. And I remember when we approached you a few years ago and said, Son, we want something totally different. Correct. Actually, I remember my first conversation with Kirk. Yep. Uh, back then, you know. I'll get Kirk in that, here a little bit. Uh, we kept talking about, the, you know, the cleaners, dissolvables that. Uh, yep. The posters that we were looking for and something. Changing Go ahead and speak odor, up clearly. Changing, changing some of the, the odors, the scents, and the performance levels because um, everyone else, you could, we could talk to some of the other chemists and so forth from other companies, but they would not even take it seriously or even want to even listen to it. Why would they? We're Northern Minnesota Hicks. Right. Um, <laughs> and Hassan, he was the only one that would listen. He, would, he was the one that would actually answer the phone if we asked to talk to him. He would, he would take the phone calls. And he was the only one, and he listened to us, and he brought products out to us, uh, things that we'd be doing for testing, yeah. and we'd re read it back to them and so forth, and, and make the improvements. And, and, and our family comes from a weird background of, yeah. I'm a former music teacher, and so what am I doing in chemistry? And, and uh, we're former racers, Kirk, industrial technology engineer, our brother Dave, undercover cop. We're all in the family carpet cleaning business again, but so with you, could... Could you tell me? I'm just going to go over to the line quick, too, but yes. Yeah, but before uh, we go on on, on yeah. other subjects, I might just add one thing. Actually, I value feedback from the field. Yes. Like somebody like Kirk, somebody like you. Although I'm a, by trade, I'm a chemist. I sit in the lab, you know, yeah. uh, as a product development chemist. But I value the feedback from the field to improve the products. Because yep. if I don't know in an actual setting how our products works, then I'm in the dark. Yeah. So I really value like some of the people like a Kurt, like yourselves to give me a feedback, yeah. how it's working, you know, and what are the deficiencies. Then I can think about it and improve the products. And we also with us now with the Valley, we've been able to do videos, pictures when we were developing some of the new things and share with you and some things were very exciting. Of course, with the, these new iPhones, the yeah. social media, media, I can see with my own eyes how they're yep. cleaner acting on the carpet, and that tells me a lot. You know, by looking at how the soil is being removed, how yep. the soil is acting up on the surface. So these are all I put it under the microscope you know, right. when I think about the improvement of the product. And you, I remember the one time I showed you a picture in that clear tank remover over in South Korea, and you said. Look at the soil suspension mark. It's working. We're going to get to that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> I know I was excited though when I heard it. <laughs> We're going to get to that. So, tell me more about then Harvard. Uh, yeah, you know, like I started like 18 years ago then, uh, as a product development chemist. Fast forward, about a year and a half ago, you, you approached us, Hassan, I want something, yeah. a pre-spray product that really, you know, uh, works uh, uh, in a manner that, you know, uh, that we want, you know, performs mm -hmm. real good. Uh, I said, okay, let me think about it. Talking about a little bit of chemistry, 
most powder products or liquid products as a pre-spray or the extractions in our business, there are some basics that all the companies they follow. As a, right. a chemist, product development chemist, they follow. And that's uh, number one is alkalinity. Yep. Go after grease, dirt, <clears throat> water softening agents. Mm -hmm. All the chemists, they throw in that. Then, then emulsifiers or detergents. Yep. That, this is common in every company's products. But since you asked me something that that you want a really different, you know, yep. jumps out of there, I said to myself, in the lab, what else I can do to these common things that everybody has in their formulas that enhances the cleaning? Yep. So I kept thinking about it. The only thing I could think of, the additives that I can add to this package that everybody has yeah. to enhance the formulas. I call these additives because there are, it's a, like almost uh, uh, spices and herbs right. that chef adds to his food that stands out the ta ta taste compared to other chefs. So yep. I thought about those additives to add to these three main components, alkalinity, water softening, and detergents to enhance yep. the performance. That's why I came with a package of additive. Yeah that we added to your Sega Sauce 1. Yep. And that really changed the picture. Yeah. The way I look at it, I remember you sent me a video yep. of your uh, uh, carpet cleaning videos that the soil was kind of floating on the top of the carpet. Yes. That means our additive package caused the soil and dirt to dislodge itself from the fiber. Yep and sitting on the top of the carpet so you can extract it much easier with your wand, with your right. same wand. I mean, I look at those pictures and that means something to me. So my so, videos finally have value to someone. <laughs> Marty will laugh at that. Again, this is a feedback that I was talking yeah. to Leon from. Yep. So that I said, yes, that additive package that I added to the Sega Sauce 1 is really working, dislodging. Yeah keeping everything in the suspension, it's, uh, it's lodging from the fiber, keeping it in a suspension, so you can extract it yep. much easier. And that's where we ended up with your Sega Sauce 1. Did you think we would go with our butyls and solvents in it though? I never thought. <clears throat> no, I mean, uh, those we, uh, we know if we add butyls and those things, yeah. you know, is a negative things. Yep. So we, we didn't go uh, into the butyls or solvent. Right. It's all based on that additive package that yeah. had enhanced the yep. performance of your Sega Sauce 1. Without butyls or carcinogen yep. uh, uh, raw materials. So, so it was pretty so incredible. So are biodegradable. Yep. The other ones are just earth material. Yep. Huh? Yep. So pretty safe. Uh, yeah. products, but in the meantime, you know, it, yeah. it performs. And it was kind of a change for all of us. Our family's been in this 50 years now, this year, and we, like we joke, we probably put butyl on our breakfast cereal in the old days to clean, <laughs> you know? So, you know, it was a surprise, a pleasant surprise it went that direction, and then it actually just kept us being influenced to keep doing more that right. direction. Right. Because I remember approaching you with the newest product, and I was like, oh, let's get me old school atomic, you know, nuclear, and you stopped me. Yeah. And, uh, be honest with you. Yeah. This time I told myself, these guys they want something different. I gotta get out of that box. Yeah. That most of us, the product development chemists, they do. Yeah. Alkalinity, water softening, detergent. And uh, each company tweaks a little bit here and there, but the products are very similar to right. each other in the performance. I said I gotta get out of that box. Let me think something different. Let me think something, how can, what can I add yeah. as an additive to boost up these main three components? Yep. And that's what we ended up with, that so nice we, additive package. There. So we've kind of created our own chocolate chip cookie recipe. I would say yes. <laughs> I would say yes. The Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I would say. When I look back yeah. to the formula, I, I, I see that, you know, new, yeah. uh, new chocolate chip. Yeah, yes. it's kind of fun.
What else can you tell us in, in our time here? We'll, you know, we won't make this super long video, but I sure appreciate it, this time doing this. We're going to put this on YouTube and Facebook and, you know, so would well, you want to tell us a few things about your formulas over here if you have a chance? Uh, I mean, the, the Harvard Chemical has a long history of uh, carpet cleaning products. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been in business uh, over 18 years in carpet cleaning. Yep. And maybe a little bit in the background because we do a lot of private labels and yeah. so forth. But, you know, people in carpet business, you know, yeah. they know Harvard Chemicals. Maybe not in the forefront, but they all, you know... You've been there a long time. You've been a long people time. People have possibly been using your formulas and they just didn't and know they, it, they didn't they? They didn't know it because we yeah. make a lot of private labels, you know, right. other names. Yep. Products. People think I'm privy to a lot of that information. I tell them there's more secrets than I would even right. guess. So, so uh, but we have evolved, you know, so many other products yeah. we have added to our line. Yep. I mean, we kept up with the new technologies, yep. new raw materials, encapsulations, yep. uh, peroxide formulas, and uh, great so encapsulation products too. Even though we're steam cleaners, hot water extraction, but we do encapsulation, especially Kirk, but. Your encapsulation products have no odor. And I remember a discussion last year, you asked, should I do a, a scent in it? And both Kirk and I said, no, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding there's a lot of, uh, our current code red is unscented, but I'm finding a lot of people uh, desiring an unscented and then we can add a scent to it as yeah, needed. Yeah, because uh, perfumes, scented yeah. products, uh, uh, the different people, they react differently to yeah. perfume. Some people don't like it. Yep. So if you want to stay on a safe side, you yeah. know, no scent, yeah. no odor, just a clean, fresh and clean surface. Yep. When you're leaving that job, you know, yep. that gives a good feeling to that person. You know, well, our clean, fresh yeah. smell. Our first version of the Sager Sauce One, you know, we ended up, we're lemon and a, and a blue color for branding, but we had no clue at, towards the end of the final development that we actually had a totally unscented formula and free and clear came from it. That, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That was by pure chance and, and Mikey P asked us to do that. Actually, this is good. You give an option to, to yeah. the place that you go, you want to clean, you know. Yeah. And so they have an option to choose between scented and unscented. Yeah. So the only difference is we've taken out the perfume part yep. of the sacred sauce mode. Yep. Everything else is the same. Well, show us a little bit here of the online, uh, uh, some of your products here, if you would, Dr. Hassan. I'm going to go over here, and I call him doctor, and he tells me in really truly. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, you know, we, we've come up with a new, again, uh, Mark, again, you know, keeps putting pressure on me. Yeah. I, want some, I want to go beyond Sager Sauce 1. Give me something there, again, another one. So we came up with the Code Red yep. that has uh, oxygenated and also enzymes. Yep. That is uh, uh, also enhances the cleaning. Then you you have uh, G Force again for a very difficult job. Liquid soy booster. With the yep. soy booster, and uh, yep. you, you can add to your uh, pre sprays yep. again to give further boost to the cleaning. Yeah. We got pretty uh, severe odor uh, products mm -hmm. besides. The uh, Sager side sauce, you know, that the uh, odor destroyer, the lime odor citron. Destroyer, yeah. lime citron. Wasn't Again, that cool? We, we understand that has become another hit for yeah. Sager family here. It's really nice, scented, actually right, changes the molecular structure of the odor. Yeah. It's not just the mask, it really destroys the uh, odor yep. and leaves behind a nice lime scent. Yeah. And that's, we're not done with that. We're working off of your pet. Enzyme, your um, you know microbial, your uh, yes. bacterial, yes. Yes. and we've incorporated, and that's coming out. We're at this point, we're thinking we're calling it P lime zyme. So actually, again, yeah, again, that's a pet odor. Yep, this product uh, that we have in there again yeah. changes the molecular structure of yep. the pet urine. Yeah, and while the bacteria breaking down the rest, mm -hmm. so it's a good one-two punch. Yeah. Uh, combination. Again, just kind of one of those lucky kind of happen moments. Well, uh, you know, uh, your, your feedback from the field. Yep. A uh, little bit of my experience I throw in there. A I lot of experience from him. Situation. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, Dr. Hassan, I really appreciate everything. Our family appreciates you. I know one of the things that people talk about, they say, Sager sauce is just a copy or it's just something, you know, that you guys have had and we just put a label on it. And I tell people, no, this is actually truly original, never been done product. 
I just, uh, as I said just a few minutes ago, I yeah. had to come off, come yeah. off of that box. Yep. That every powder, pre-spray or every yeah. product development came in stage. I had to come out, come out of that box and think something different. Yeah. That's why we came up with that additive package that yep. we added to conventional pre-sprays. And then we, you see the results. This is totally new chemistry. Wouldn't you say it's been fun though? <laughs> uh, uh, why? Yeah. The reason is fun, the feedbacks that we get from yeah. you and your people on the field, that makes me feel good, you know, that we have come up with a product yeah. that everybody uh, talking about it, everybody, yeah. you know, happy about it. So that's my, yes. that's the feedback that makes me happy. Well, again, we thank you so very much. You were, you took the time to listen to us and just some needs and we got talked to and even releasing it. We were going to keep all of that private just for ourselves and our family. and. I'm thankful we did release it, but it, we, we couldn't have done it without you. I think this is a partnership yep. between Sager Brothers and Harbor Chemical. Yep. And it's a win-win situation. We are very proud of you know, yep. working with you guys. And uh, uh, it just uh, has made us very feel good. You know, that you guys doing yep. well and Harbor Chemical doing well. And I insisted that we had Harvard on the label. That, yeah. I might add, you know, Harvard Chemical now uh, mm -hmm. being bought out by Simonize yep. USA, so we are part of the Simonize, yeah. and that even uh, makes Harvard Chemical, uh, from the financial uh, point of view, our, mm -hmm. our lab is going to bring yep. more equipment, more chemists, so you're going to see more better products down the road because of this acquisition. And you just doubled your warehouse space, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hassan, I thank you so very much for this time and everything you've done. Thank you so much. Since you've been such a blessing to and our I, family. Thank so you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.